After watching Tony Kingdom on TV filming wildlife on his bit of land, I was inspired and went out and bought a bird feeder from the pound shop. This is the bit of land at the back of the flat in Edinburgh that we call a garden. I positioned the feeder where I could see it from the window, set up the camera and waited. Over a long weekend at the end of April, I spent some time filming and watching the birds. The camera had only been running a short time when this little fellow, a cold tit, found the feeder and over the next hour he visited nearly 20 times. Apparently they hoard food for later, kinda like a squirrel. I set up the camera in the window and for the first few days left the window closed so as not to spook the birds. Sadly the window needed a clean and I forgot to use a polarizer filter. The blackbird is easily recognised and a common visitor to city gardens. And the robin's red breast is instantly recognisable and even though it is April, these shy little birds are still around. This one uses an old planter as a bird bath. This female chaffinch is part of a pair that are regular visitors to the garden. They are the second most common breeding bird in the UK and the male is very colourful. They are not keen on the bird table but hop around and underneath it to feed. Although this female obviously hasn't read the RSPB website like I have. This is the male chaffinch with his bright coloured plumage. Here we see a blue tit on its one and only outing to the garden and he's found the robin's bird bath. This female greenfinch is a popular garden visitor and this one is going to walk everywhere.
This female chaffinch gets scared away by the male greenfinch in his only appearance in this film. But as you see, he is slightly camera shy. The wood pigeon is the largest and most common pigeon according to the RSPB website. I thought it was the pigeons that hang about in the street that were more common. This one thinks it's a gannet. Just watch it gobble up all my bird seed. For the windowsill shots, I used a small security style camera and blue tacked it into the windowsill. When plugged into a DVD recorder, I could leave it recording for up to 6 hours. It was a bargain at £30. And all this time I wasn't the only one watching the birds. I hope this short film has shown you how easy it can be to film wildlife from the comfort of your armchair. And maybe you'll be inspired as I was to give it a go.